So today I will going to share to you how to ace the Microsoft AI 900 exam. So I passed my Microsoft exam last June 27 and it was really challenging, I swear. And at the same time, even though I am working in an AI company that specializes in computer vision, yet it was challenging and it was worth it. So I will get to tell you the journey where I passed the exam. Guess what? You think that on the AI 900 that I passed, I also passed the AI Azure AI Engineer AI 102 exam. Hello guys, my name is Amber and welcome to the 7th episode of my sub-series of my vlog which is Coding Garage. So today we're going to, I will going to share to you how to ace the Microsoft AI 102 exam despite the, I have the 2 day review of the Azure AI 102 exam. But before that, please, please. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and don't forget to subscribe my channel. So today, I'm going to share to you how to ace the Microsoft AI 102 Azure AI Engineer Associate exam. I passed the my Microsoft exam last May 4, and it was really challenging. I had like two and a half days to review the concepts and the syntaxes of the code. So I'm going to tell you my journey where I passed my exam. I attended a Microsoft AI 102 exam training last April 14 to 17. So we reviewed the concepts of Azure AI services from the concepts of artificial intelligence which is like the flashback throwback or review of AI 900 um, topics then the responsible AI they don't forget the responsible AI because it is um, partially how to uh, make AI useful for us as humans also and to be safe um, to the cognitive services of Azure, the computer vision, custom vision, OCR, face API, the natural language processing from uh, Louise to speech SDK, and uh, conversational AI are the chatbots, the QA maker, and the bot framework, and the cognitive search. Um, which is like the keywords of the uh, storage for your website. So I'll, I scheduled the exam later two weeks after uh, the trainings and despite the hectic schedules and I had also a um, screen break which is you know, uh, even though I had that, I have my part-time job which I had a little time to review the concepts and the syntaxes of Azure AI 102. But despite that, I passed the exam. So I will tell you the tricks on how to ace the exam and how you were going to book the exam. Whether you are a lead tech or you want to level up your skills if you took the AI 900 because um, you you took um, when last year I took the AI 900 and also um, right now I took the AI 102 which is the um, level up of AI 900 so if you want to upscale that maybe this is 
perfect opportunity for you to um, schedule or to review the concepts of Azure. So the Microsoft AI 102 exam has one exam provider which is the Pearson. So I love Pearson so much that they're really responsive especially if you have problems to your um, exam um, proper you will going to contact them and also you're going to have a um, they're responsive also so they were going to help you as much as you can as they can so definitely they were going to assist you in your um, Azure exam so after choosing the exam provider so you will choose the schedule that is perfect for you that has the allotment for your review don't don't um, imitate my um, experience because I reviewed for two days and I have like two and a half days so one is in the night and the others are all in days so make sure that you have um, like allotments for your review because AI 102 is different from AI 900 so technically you need to have more allotment more adjustments to your review days and after that you need to memorize and um, technically you're going to understand the topics needed in the exam so make sure um, if you after that you need to choose your um, your exam room or your environment so make sure that there is no unnecessary things in your table and also uh, they will go to provide you phones but um, for taking your photo uh, and also your government ID and your surroundings but after that you need to take it away after you do that uh, you do that step so make sure that you need to perform a system check before the exam or I recommend you to um, do a system check before the exam R that you were going to take because there are some circumstances where we don't know if there are internet connectivity issues or your uh, technical difficulties in your laptop. Uh, maybe Pearson can help you too if you want. I also uh, contact that, contacted them um, last, before the exam are because I had a, a hard time um, system test on their exam platform. Um, in case you have technical difficulties during the exam, um, you may chat with the proctor and or the community co customer service. So make sure that your phone and email is ready um they have also um they have also chat bot there they they are really ready so chat you may choose chat bot um you may give a call or you may give them an email for your concerns about your exam so on the day of your exam make sure that you are um checked in 30 minutes before your time before your exam time to have your technical preparations for your exam proper before the exam time begins so that is how i book and prepare my exam so how did i review and ace the exam the ai 102 the exam and i had reviewed for two days right it was <laughs> It was really amazing, right? I, I don't know, right? Uh, me too. I was expecting that I <laughs> I could, you know, but definitely I, I am still shocked that I passed despite I reviewed for um, short days uh, and it was really um, don't um, imitate me uh, because it depends on your learning um, curve and how you learn your the AI Azure um, AI services there so if you're especially if you're a non-tech um, background so if you want to uh, adjust your review please do so because maybe if you had understanding the 
Azure AI services. Um, maybe you were going to give allotment for your review to test it out and make sure that um, I'm going to you were going to have your preparations in your exam you're really memorized and you understand uh, the concepts and the syntaxes needed in the exam no 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 coding required no coding required there you don't uh, code there um, they were going to give you um, some steps and all um, Although it fits for 140 minutes, which is like two hours, um, but you have the allotment of your time to review and to you know, to check if your answer is correct or not. So make sure that you will going to review also your sample exams and Microsoft Learn um, quizzes. So I'll go to uh, link down below the sample exam questions that I reviewed that is what I reviewed for the last two days um, before the exam day so make sure to understand and memorize the terms the syntaxes uh, because the questions in the exams were mostly situational and technical questions uh, that is based on your understanding of the topics that is included in AI 102 also memorize the steps in each topic say like for for cognitive search to um, to cognitive services to cognitive search make sure that you memorize them and there is no coding there you just need to understand and you need to appropriate steps needed in your exam in the exam so make sure you do that then after that you need to um, memorize uh, the endpoints and syntaxes in the code although there's no coding required but you need to memorize the syntaxes and uh, um, for appropriate codes needed in the make sure that you learn two two languages mainly c sharp and python so that is the um and also json because there are some json um code when you test the um when you test the applications on azure make sure that you memorize that um key points and endpoints uh, needed in the code and you make sure that you are going to know the uh, appropriate a Azure AI um, applications needed for the situational um, use so make sure that you know um, from cognitive search to, cogn to cognitive services um, what is the appropriate um, step needed in that situation um make sure that uh you if you want to learn more about ai 102 exam you will uh, if you want to attend training you may attend. so that's it for the um what how did i review and all so that is my journey for the microsoft ai 102 exam so um, that is a quite a journey although it is one year um, one year warranty because um, they the that exam is a role based exam which means you are going to renew it every year so um, if, so if you want to upskill particularly in AI artificial intelligence topics so this will be your starting point um, this will AI is really the biggest um career ever in tech tech um tech history um comment down below what's your experience in upscaling your um skills in tech like um taking certification um not really not a uh, tech but non-tech um certifications uh the uh, sample design um writing so on and so forth how did you overcome it you can share it to to me you can share it to the comment section with your uh
advice or what's your story behind your certifications so that's it guys thanks for watching so please click the subscribe button for more videos i'll see you next time bye